It is what it is. It is what it is. What are your thoughts on that? That it is what it is. What are we doing today, boss? We are making use of all the trunk space in the TJ that's not really user friendly until today. Now, what's gonna be nice about this install is there is no drilling at all into the Jeep. Greg, what was your tip to our viewers? Moment of truth, why don't we see if the seat folds back into place? That it would be funny if I could fit myself into here. I don't think that she can. Couple more gym days? There's no way. No way. Let me close the trunk. Let's see if it okay, works. That's not going to work. You got to stop. You just take a picture. It is what it is. It is what it is. What are your thoughts on that? That it is what it is. What are we doing today, boss? We are making use of all the trunk space in the TJ that's not really user friendly until today. Until today with that one package and a lot of all-in installing. That so stay good. tuned. Let's see how Aline installs this on the better of the two Wranglers, my Jeep TJ Rubicon. Then you do it. Karate <laughs> chop. Oh! Ooh, yeah! Did Greg play basketball? Yes or no? Drop a comment below. Absolutely not. Alrighty, you guys. I know, I was about to stop after I said alright, you guys. We already forget about the airplane rule on Garage Couple. We just can't plan for this kind of stuff, guys. We learn many things about each other while we make these videos. That would be one of them. Nice. Welcome back, you guys, to Garage Couple. For those of you just tuning in, my name is Aline and I drive this JKU. And my name is Greg. I drive this Jeep Wrangler TJ Rubicon right over there. You know, the one that we're going to work on today, guys. That one. And on today's episode, we are going to show you exactly what you need to keep your cargo safe in your Jeep. And the part is... The Tuffy security enclosure for the rear lid of the Jeep Wrangler TJ. Now, if you followed us previously, you know that our previous green TJ had one of these from the factory that was made out of plastic. So this TJ that we got doesn't actually have one from the factory, so we're going to do one better. We're going to install a heavy duty one from Tuffy Products. Now this install is going to be super easy. All you are going to need is some simple hand tools and a T50 and we will get the job done. So without further ado, let's get to it. Oh yeah. Are you going to unbox? Brother. Huh? What was that? Yeah, don't mess with me. Alrighty, since I'm going to be doing most of the hard labor on this install, we're going to let Greg unbox it today. Because Aline is doing most of this install, that makes me doing most of the unboxing. We're switching. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed <laughs> up. What are we doing, Greg? <laughs> well, if you're wondering why there is an awkward period at this point in time, it's because I said something really funny before that my lovely partner and assistant here had to have me assistant, edit Assistant, okay, you're, okay, you gotta stop. <laughs> We're done. You need to stop. You literally need to stop right now. I've had enough. Aline will be doing most of this install, which means me. Greg. We'll be unboxing. Let's get to it, Greg. Just unbox the product. We're struggling here a little bit. Now, Aline, now, now Aline will be doing most of this install. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know this took us like four takes to say, but I will be unboxing this product because she's installing it. So why don't we do it the only way we know how? Brute force. I hope it didn't break. Well, the it shouldn't. it's supposed to be a strong product. And if it did, we'll let you know. We'll let you know, guys, because you know, FedEx people out there, the, the UPS people out there, I feel like lately the trend is to just, you know, send it. To send a Roni in. Send it! So, look at that. That is a beautiful piece of metal. One thing that I absolutely love is when the instructions come and it's only back and forth. That's how you know you have enough time afterwards to grab a cold one. What kind of it's cold the one? cold one sign, as we like to call in medicine, the cold one sign. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at the product. Right off the bat, has a really nice finish. Greg, how did it feel? Pretty heavy duty or what? It feels really nice. There's a really strong hinge here, and this is soft rubber. Now, what's going to be nice about this install is there is no drilling at all into the Jeep. It is going to be five bolts, and they're already on or the Jeep. Or so they say. Well, I guess we're going to find out. It's or all so they 
see. <gasps> okay, the shades. There's only five. They are the middle seatbelt. Woo, there's the fly. Seatbelt holder in the middle of the Jeep along with the two brackets. Two brackets have two each, so two, two, four, and one in the middle is five, and that is it. Now, the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your humble vacuum and go ahead and vacuum the rear of your sneaky Jeep. And vacuum your husband from the silly jokes. Wow. <laughs> Two can play that game. So for those that are wondering, the part goes right over here. This is the rear seat of the TJ, and that is the trunk. Yes, it is. That's the trunk. The trunk. So that product actually blocks this trunk from being accessible so that you can put some stuff in there and then lock your tailgate, assuming it still locks, because you know these Jeeps are now like over 20 years old. You can go ahead and lock the tailgate and have secure items back there, like we used to on our old TJ. Now the very first thing is we're gonna go ahead and vacuum, so let's take a look. All right, not so bad, not so bad. Let's take Wanna a quick look, this is Greg's Jeep. How dirty is it, might oh, we say? wow. Ready for some bird bird feedings, huh, with that rat nest over there. Oh, Oh, because rat's nest feeds birds. Delightful. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum it. You saw that before. Look at a little bit of TLC on the after. If you don't have one of these, check out our Amazon shop. Link is below. And here is the beautiful after, and it only took two minutes of my time and Aline's happiness. <laughs> All right. So one thing we forgot to mention is if you want to check this exact product out, the link will be in the video description below. Now Aline is waiting over there with the T50 socket. Ready to undo some bolts. Let me show you what we gotta do. Come over here. I love how cavalier you're being. You didn't spray it with WD-40. You didn't spray it with any goo off or, or any liquid wrench or anything. And you're using one of those sockets that have almost no leverage. All right, let's see what happens. Show me how strong you are without telling me how strong you are. Okay. The first bolt you're gonna be undoing falls right between the two seat belts directly in the middle of your trunk. Again, you're using a T-50. If you see ours, it's carpet, so it's hard to access unless you rip off the whole thing from the start to finish. I'm just going to use some tin snips, cut down the middle, make a little incision down the middle. Those, those would be shears. Tin snips are a little different, but it's oh, okay. Okay, thanks so much. Both of them are in our Amazon shop, in yeah. case the viewers In case they want to know. Uh, who wants to know? You want to cut it? No. Okay. Greg, what was your tip to our viewers? This is Greg's tip, you guys. One hand here, one hand putting pressure to break it. Am I gonna break it? Oh. Are you serious, Greg? She for sure stripped it. You, you could lose the second hand. I like it better. I mentioned earlier that there were gonna be five bolts that you're taking off, but it really depends on your model. So we have a 2005, so we're actually only taking one of the bolts off the seatbelt bracket over here. Just make sure to check when you are installing it on your Jeep. So, so there's three total, not five. There's three total. All right, let's come on, come on. What you doing? Using a little more handy dandy tools, huh? See if you could just do that to the other one. Okay. Skip the middle man. No. No. Need all right, all three of those screws removed. Why don't we pop in the trunk? Let's do it. Greg is gonna put in the cargo lid. When he puts it in, he's putting it in shut and then he will open it once it is put in place. Let me grab that camera and show you. 
And why is Greg doing this and not Ollie? Like because I'm, I'm allowing you to participate. So these rubber trim pieces on the side, they look like they're really nicely made. And it's possible they could get this lodge during shipping. Which, if that's the case, just go ahead and reattach them. It's really simple. You just go ahead and bend them and push them back into position. Now you got to do this before you try to attach the entire cargo lid. Because once you kind of push it into place, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay in whatever position it was in. So as you can see, it's not that difficult to put it back into place. So just go ahead and do that now. All right, so this is going to be the brute force method. What I'm going to do is, as this is folded, with the folded side facing towards the rear of the vehicle, I'm going to put it down and then try to open that latch. And that should be it. Once, then we are going to align those three bolts, tighten them down, and we're all set. Probably a good idea to remove your fire extinguisher. So excited because it looks super clean, but our job here is not done yet. Aline, why don't you tell us the bump we ran into and how we're going to fix it? So we have encountered an issue. We had stated earlier that we only needed to take out this first bolt on the bracket, but it looks like we're going to have to slide this part underneath the bracket in order for it to sit properly. So we are going to have to take out bolt four and five on the other side in order to slide this underneath. So let's do that now. On we go. On we go. So the left piece wasn't sliding in the way it should. I mean, this is a quality product and we know that it fits perfectly. I mean, the way that they make them, they're like machined and lasered, they're perfect. So when I knew it wasn't sliding in, I knew there was something wrong with our Jeep in particular. Now it looks like one of the previous owners down the line installed some kind of subwoofer or high output line or something and they basically just drilled this lead many with many different screws into the body of the Jeep, thus blocking the actual trunk from sliding into place. So now that it's out, let's see how easy we can get this thing in. Now we're just gonna put all the screws back into place, tighten, and we should be smooth sailing. So let's get those bolts put on and tighten. And guess what? We are using an air gun because it is eight o'clock. I've already worked 11 hours today and I wanna go inside. Let's do it. So we did get confused a couple times with the direction of the seatbelt bracket, but here is the correct direction, you guys, for your reference. Screenshot it, take a picture, keep it for your savings. Take two. 
Moment of truth. All right, let's thread the seat belts in. And let's hope it locks into place. Woo! There we go, So Greg. excited about that. Let's take a look from the back, huh? Let's see how it closes. Wow, that closes really nicely. And if you notice, it still leaves room so that you could have a hard top or a soft top. And now you're able to lock your trunk and have a nice little storage compartment here. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel because we are gonna be installing other Tuffy products on both of our Jeeps. Stay tuned, make sure you check out our later episodes to see those specific products. And if you haven't already done so, check out the description. We have tons of helpful links to our website, to our Amazon shop, as well as to the Tuffy product that you see in this video. So thank you so much for sticking around. This is one of the easiest things we've installed on this Wrangler that makes such a tremendous difference. We'll tell you how it holds up over time. In fact, I was throwing my wrenches, my tools on this as I was installing it, and I don't notice any scratches, which means that it's pretty durable. Pretty happy with it. We'll let you know how it does over time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you guys on the next one. Said it would be funny if I could fit myself into here. I don't think that she can. Couple more gym days? There's no way. No way. Let me close the trunk. Let's see if it okay, works. That's not going to work. You got to stop. You just take a picture.